Welcome to the Divine Canine Channel. Welcome to the Divine Canine Channel. Where we're talking all things crypto, from NFTs and the metaverse, projects we're currently working on, and we'll even discuss a little bit of God's Word in the Bible. So let's jump right in and get started. 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 What's going on, everybody? This is Roman with Divine K9 NFTs, and today I want to talk a little bit about Gala Games. Let's dive right in. So I'm on app.gala.games, and I'm on the about part. We're just going to do a quick run through so you guys could have all the information that you need. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the projects they have up and running right now, uh, some of the projects you could play, including Town Star. Um, take a look at a couple sneak peeks, talk about some of the Vox that they're coming out with and what exactly a Vox is. And then we're going to dive a little bit into what we're doing with our NFT, um, how the website launch is going, as well as some of the merchandise that we have getting ready to drop. So without further ado, here we go. So Gala Games about... It says, making blockchain games you'll actually want to play. Um, in the background, you can see it's Mirandus. It's a game that we will be going over. So our principle, fun first. So we believe that the blockchain should be invisible in our games. We use simple game mechanics that all players can enjoy. <laughs> Excuse me. Whether or not they consider themselves to be blockchain professionals. Owned by the players. Players get to truly truly own what they win in our games. If you earn a physical sword on the Gala platform, it is yours. Community rules. We don't develop games in a vacuum. We consistently engage and test assumptions with our Discord community. We build alongside the vocal community, whose input shapes the direction each game's design takes. And then powered by the people. Everything within the Gala Games network depends on the player-owned node ecosystems. The Gala network is supported by users, just like you, who operate Gala nodes, nodes from their home computers. Get yours today. Um, let's actually take a quick look at what that is. So, more than 16,000 players run nodes and power their ecosystems. Um, quick little run-through. So... The decentralized Gala game ecosystem aspires to blow the doors wide open and give players back the control they deserve. Through decentralization, players not only own their in-game items, but have a voice in how the Gala game's roadmap develops. And we will look into that um, here in a little bit. Players and node owners will be enlisted via distributed voting uh, mechanisms to help determine what games should be added to the platform or what should be funded by the decentralized Gala Games ecosystem. So let's take a look. Gala Nodes. Opening up opportunities to receive wards like Gala, which is their coin. Um, limited edition NFTs and the chance to help Gala Games ecosystem grow. And then you could get a Founders Node today. The Gala Network is supported by users just like you, so forth and so on. Um, let's just take a click and see if we'll pull up exactly what we need. Yeah, so here we go. Current product spec, product disclaimer, um, and this is the license that you would need if you wanted to go down this route. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit expensive. It's about 142,000 Gala coins. And if we take a quick look at our trading view to see what Gala's at, let's go ahead and jump to like the five day chart. Let's get rid of that real quick. So Gala is about 47 cents. It's not bad. So let's do a little bit of math. 47 cents times 142,000. 142,000 times 0. 0.47. 
is about sixty-six thousand dollars if you wanted to have a node. Make sure I'm doing my math correctly. Yeah, so it's about sixty-six thousand dollars to to run a node for the Gala Games um, blockchain. Uh, they do run on Ethereum, but that is a hefty, hefty price tag. I know when they first came out, and you could do some research, they were about thirteen thousand dollars. So they've already went up in price. But nonetheless, this is something you can do if you have money like that. I don't, but if you do, you do. So this is Gala Games. Let's take a look over at the games that they actually have. Okay, so this is Townstar. Um, it's a simulation. I guess it's in its beta, uh, and it's for uh, the browser. Um, let's take a quick look at a little bit of a YouTube um, pro uh, promotional video. It's by Aspirecraft. I want to make sure that they get their recognition. But here, let's take a quick little look at it. It's bad quality. That this that might not show up correctly on you, but it basically just looks like a little farm game. And you're trying to build your little town, um, have a little ecosystem. Uh, you could play for free, and you could actually start earning twin, uh, tokens now or coins now if you buy some of the Vox. And the Vox is basically an NFT that helps you build the in-game performance and gives you more benefits to kind of leveling up your farm all the way into the, cr the crude oil and whatnot. So that's Townstar. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Let's look at Echoes of Empire. It's a strategy 4X game. Um, I'm not ex exactly sure what the 4X stands for. Uh, it's in development. They have not released anything yet besides a couple of promotional videos. And it's for Mac and PC. Um, so let's go take a look. This is on Gala Games. So you could look at this later. I just wanted to give you kind of a quick idea of what we're looking at um this looks like to be a form of maybe a planet or something an ecosystem that drops into an even smaller ecosystem um oh, is it going to give me a fun little ad no it's not um and then you go into kind of the playing field it's so it almost reminds me of like a chess game or something of that nature and you can see maybe attack different things or whatnot and you you have these planes and I don't know they haven't released a lot of stuff about it but definitely go on YouTube and do your own research. Um, that's Echoes of Empire and it looks cool. It looks like um, futuristic and probably something everybody's gonna play just to just to try out all of their games. Just you you know they're just fun to play. Town Stars sit back while you're watching a YouTube video and grow your crops. You know. Echoes of Empire looks like a strategy game. Play with your friends, kind of in depth, but could be cool. Uh, let's let's move on here to Spider Tanks. So Spider Tanks, you could actually play right now. It's in the beta. Um, it says Mac and PC, and it's a player versus uh, player brawler style game. I actually didn't pull up um, any video for that, but we can take a quick look. I don't know why I didn't pull up any video for that. So does Gala Games, okay. So here they already had their Spider Tanks World Cup in Tokyo or Japan. As you can see, there's, I don't know, it's it's not in America. They, they didn't do this in America. Um, but this is a quick overview of what we're looking at. Um, kind of a 3v3, almost looks like, um, like a League of Legends, but a lot more simpler, maybe because this is the beta. Um, I would pull it up on my computer, but since it, since it is in beta mode right now, it is actually a little bit harder to, like they haven't fine-tuned it, so it wouldn't be as great quality. Um, but I did want to show you that. And that's Spider Tanks. If you buy an NFT, um, you can go and play that. And we'll look a little bit into how that works for now since it's still in the beta. And then Mirandus um, is a fantasy RPG game still in development. And I think this is their biggest hype game. Uh, basically, it's a Lord of the Rings style, maybe um, kind of, you know, take, uh, taking in the past kind of 
Fable, even one of those kind of games where you're like uh, brought into a world and we'll, we'll just take a quick look at a video, but it just looks very old fashioned, kind of medieval style. And I like those kind of games, but let's take a quick look at, again, we're on the Gala Games on YouTube. Let's take a quick look at one of the um, ads they have. They got a guy rolling through a town in a cart. Everybody's at the pub having a good old time in the town. There's a dragon. He sees all the different meats. Chicken's trying to wake this dude up. Oh, and there's a dragon. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks like kind of like Roblox um, meets, I don't know, story mode that's on the blockchain. I don't know, but it seems cool. And they're actually coming out with the Voxes for this tomorrow. So that's something to look into. And then they have Fortified. Um, I couldn't find much on Fortified yet. It's still in development. It looks like a tower defense game. Um, but nonetheless, these are the games they have right now. So about five games with two games you could roll. Uh, Townstar is free with Spider Tanks not being free yet. You do need the um, the NFT. You have to build your own Spider Tank. And let's take a look at that. Let's go to our inventory and see what that looks like. So if we click on Spider Tanks, you'll see we have in the Ethereum blockchain, we have a muzzle common body. Um, that's what it looks like. And... Basically, is about. It's not. It's not that bad. And you could. Act, the cool thing is, you could send these items to people. So that's its body, and then you would need a top piece, like a weapon of sorts. So this is a Gatling gun. It's a common weapon, um, and that is what my full body looks like. So if we go to the store and we click on Spider Tanks. You can see here that they have different tanks and different rarities, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and ancient. Um, and you can go ahead and build your own spider tank. And this is what they mean by being decentralized and owning your in-game play. You will actually own your spider tank and be able to trade and swap out and earn more uh, features throughout the game and you can do a lot of research on this if you join their discord uh, they have different sections on different games and you can kind of talk with um, some of the people that are developing the game um, so so this is kind of what it looks like now and also if you go back to gala games on the YouTube channel you can see that they've already done a couple tournaments trying to build the hype for this game and I've actually played the game and it's really fun um, it's still in beta but it's worth checking out. So let's go back to the store really quickly. If it, oh, we are in the store. I don't have to go back. I just have to go up. We'll hop out of the spider tanks and we'll go to Echoes of, Amp of Empire. Uh, right now that everything's sold out or it might not have been released yet. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it says uncommon celestial claims are made up of rocky plantoids, volcanic moons, and rare earth asteroids. They can have up to three mines of average capacity generating one resource type. What does that mean exactly? I don't know, but I think that's how you will be earning some of your uh, benefits, some of your gala coins um, for buying some of these NFTs and using them in game. Um, so these claims generate an average amount of dust, and each mine can be leased to up to three players. So not exactly sure what that means, but you will own this, and you will receive some kind of benefit through owning the NFT for in-game play. Um, and that's about 7,000 gala right now. So that, that's that's kind of what they're doing with with these games. They're allowing you to buy NFTs and then earn from your NFTs, whether it's leveling up, whether it's going through daily, um, what is it, like daily contests, weekly contests, stuff of that nature. So let's take a look at Mirandus. And this is one of my favorites. So Mirandus has a bunch of stuff right now. Um, you could buy your characters, you could buy cemeteries. Um, they got dwarves, orcs, halfling exemplars, uh, which are the exemplars are the are just like the name that they that they give these things. I guess that's like might be what the town's called. Not quite sure. They only have promo promotional videos. 
Um, but the list goes on and on, and you can go down and you can kind of get your hands on some of the stuff. Uh, the tents aren't sold out, but as you can see, a lot of other stuff is sold out. Jewelry stand, butchery, large brewery. Um, they just have a bunch of stuff. Basically, they're, they're creating a game where the people own the stuff in the game. You're walking through towns, walking through forests, you're fighting dragons, you're getting in-game collections. Um, there's cemeteries, so when you die, I'm sure you have to pay some kind of fee to get out. Um, stuff like that. Wood shop, stable for your horses, grand general store, archery stand. So, all you know, they're bringing NFTs into the game, and, you know, you're not going to buy an NFT if you're not going to somehow make that money back. So, everybody's kind of on the edge of their seat waiting to see what happens with Mirandas. If we go all the way down to the bottom, though, we can see that there is a Citadel of the Stars, and we'll click on that just to take a look. Um, it is sold out, but what it is, is as kings of one of the five great cities, you share in legendary powers of spirit. Your castle, name, and grand crest shall be known. So the Citadel, as you can see, is 6.699943 million gala. Um, I, I don't know what that is. Let's 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 actually take a look just so we could be on the same page. So 6 million gala times point five zero so to own a citadel is about three million us dollars so that's a big deal if you're going to get a citadel you have three million dollars you're going to be one of five kings you could only imagine what kind of benefits that will have in game um, so this is real legit stuff that gal is doing inside of their their blockchain and how they're trying to give it to the people this has some definitely generational stuff that, that they're going to do. If you could buy some of this stuff now, pass it on to your kids who like to game. Um, just imagine how, how set up they would be. So let's go back to the store. Um, like I said, so we've... And, and then uh, Townstar, you could buy some of the Tesla coils. Um, you could buy some skin packs, which is kind of cool. Some solar panels. Um, some other skin packs for some of your guys, some water towers. And a lot of the stuff, you just put it in the game. It helps the functionality of your town grow quicker. And then you could earn what is a, toy, a, a town star coin. Um, so check that out. It's free to play. Uh, and, and these NFTs, you could, you could start getting them now. And you could see this little emblem right there is the town star emblems, town star coin. Um, let's go on to CoinMarketCap real quick and take a look at town star just so you can have idea of how it's doing so town star is ranked 29.66 on coin market cap bless you by the way um the price change about 20 percent well that's because bitcoin decided they somebody shorted a bunch of bitcoin but whatever the live town star price today is almost a dollar so about 95 cents so you can start earning these coins which has real value to it um as you could see we're on a one day chart. Let's go to a one month chart. As you can see, um, it was about 27 cents uh, a couple months ago. I guess, what is that, November? And then started going up a little bit, almost $2. What is that, a high of like, what is this right there? 223, give or take. 231, 232, if you want to be exact. So, and now it's been going kind of down to almost a dollar 90 cents. But this is real value. You could earn these coins in game for playing a video game and then go ahead and sell the coins to, for example, take that and start putting money into Spider Tanks or Mirandas. Um, so this is Gala Coins. This isn't just something that's, you know, you're just playing a video game. You're owning the video game. You're earning the stuff. You're, you own the stuff in the video game. And then you could also earn and make a little bit of a living or at least some side money while having fun playing video games. I, I think that's the future and that's where we're going i think gala games definitely has hit the hit, hit the uh, nail on the head with what they're doing um so check that out that's gala games they got a lot of stuff you can connect on the discord um but i want to take a look at what they have with the collective vox so their vox is coming out tomorrow but they have 8888 uh, unique collectibles with epic utility dropping december 6th so yeah that's tomorrow we got 19 hours left. Um, here's some of the guys. And it goes to say, 
Our second series is inspired by Mirandus, our MMORPG. Expect adorable elves, dwarves, orcs, and surprise fantasy creatures. You got this dude falling through the sky. Each box is unique Ethereum 721 with a provably randomized with pro provably randomized traits, true to their character. Each series will only ever have eight 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 characters. Box makes Miranda's exemplars even more powerful than you imagined. And that's what we looked at before, where you could be an orc or whatever you might have it, whatever kind of character NFT you purchase. Complete the quest of pairing your Vox with its matching exemplar to unlock a special bonus in the game. Um, that's just so cool. You could also earn town daily by placing a Miranda Vox in Townstar and completing the challenge. Guys, this is crazy. You could buy a Vox for Mirandus, place it in Town Star, complete some of the challenges, and earn real life coins and transfer them to US dollars if needed, or just stack them up. Crazy stuff, guys. It says utility doesn't stop there. The Vox world is coming. Soon you can play with your avatar in the metaverse and earn Vox coin too. I mean, then we have our little buddy he gets packaged up real nicely. So totally random. Each Vox is a randomly generated ERC-721 NFT. It starts with the selection of a class, then individual traits, and are iterated one by one. Finally, data is compared to all other existing Vox to ensure it is provably unique. As you can see, it shows us some examples. A little zombie looking dude, a miner, maybe a scientist of sorts. And then a chicken. Sick. When Vox, this eagerly anticipated Miranda series will drop on Monday, December 6th at 2 p.m. PST time. So it's, they have the Discord. You can find out more information about all this stuff. And you can go ahead and buy the Vox. Um, let's see what happens when we click that. I know it hasn't released yet, but I just wanted to see. Okay, it's not up here yet. Yeah, it's not up here. Miranda's, yeah, the Vox isn't up here, but this is what they're talking about with the exemplars. Uh, your Vox will link up to your exemplar and you'll be able to earn more stuff in game by owning the Vox. And you could also use it in um, Town town uh, Star. Crazy stuff, guys, crazy stuff. Uh, let's take a look down. So let's see, the Vox have utility? Yes, Vox are designed to have various utilities. That means they will serve a purpose beyond just being a cute avatar that you can own and animate. Own being the word there, you will own this. Vox will be able to lock up Gala and eventually earn Vox coin as rewards for play. They're paying you to play their game, guys. They're paying you to play their game. There are additional utilities as well, such as play to earn rewards in Townstar and in-game benefits and Mirandas crazy 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 so let's see how much do they cost each miranda's vox will cost 0.888 ethereum the price equivalent will be listed in gala and you can only per purchase in gala coin let's take a look i've i've already pre-done this on um the converter here so how much is 0.888 ethereum in us dollar you may ask well it's equivalent to $3,669 at the time of me putting this in, um, which was maybe five minutes ago. So, yeah. US dollars. So, yeah, about $3,000. That, that um, sounds expensive, but just like the nodes were $13,000 just, I don't know, maybe a month ago to run on the blockchain of gala and they're now what were they sixty thousand dollars this stuff is going up and you could sell some of your stuff that you buy on um open sea since it's the ethereum network you could sell it on open sea and a lot of people can buy um your stuff your voxes so let's take i wanted to take a look real quick um at no not the gala market cap i just wanted to take a look at some of the stuff that they're doing with letting other people vote. Um, it's not this one. We did that. That was fun. We looked at some of the stuff that they're doing. We did the math. 
We watch the videos. Okay, so Townstar nodes are coming. Can you move that, please? Um, oh, perfect. November 15th, um, my brother is playing hockey tonight, hurt his ankle. We've been praying for him. Um, his ankle is not broke. Thanks, everybody, for praying in the Discord. We appreciate it. Uh, let's get back to it, though. Glad you're okay, Tobin. So November 15th, they dropped this about three-minute read. Um, I highlighted some of the stuff. So Townstar nodes are coming. With nearly 20,000 Gala game founder nodes online, the Gala node ecosystem is quickly realizing its visions of becoming the largest decentralized network of gamers in the world. In addition, some exciting updates and votes coming soon to the node ecosystem. So if you own a node and they're trying to get it, so if you're in game, you could you could vote on the way, the path and the way forward that Gala takes with games coming up, with how it releases different things and kind of just, you, you, you will have a say in how the future of Gala goes. So I think that's exciting. And you could do that with the nodes. Um, licenses, Townstar nodes license will empower you to supercharge Townstar's growth while earning rewards while earning rewards for yourself in the process. Townstar node licenses will be sold limited in supply. We looked at that. Share a portion of Townstar workload and then giving you an opportunity to earn the town rewards. And the town is the coin. Um, they work with Unison and additional to founder nodes and in no way compete with them or detract from them. So they're designed to work in Unison, excuse me, with an addition to founders nodes. So I thought that was pretty cool says you'll be in a position to receive even more rewards and benefits and exciting new ways from the growth and success of Townstar. So as more people play, you're running the node, you're allowing the blockchain, you're allowing other people to play, building maps, helping others, you'll reap the benefits of that. Um, so that that's cool. You could take a all you could take a look at this if you go onto medium.com and type in Gala Games um, and hit that follow button there. You'll you'll get a lot of their stuff and you could actually have it emailed to you so you don't miss any of this um, and here's something I'm super excited about so we talked about Miranda's being like their big game um, that has a lot of investors lined up at the door to go and buy some of these in-game NFTs so we take a look at a proposal the game is called my best way is bet wixed a wixed if you say quickly enough but wixed um, and let's take a quick look. As part of the Gala game strategy to continue pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the blockchain space, we are happy to present to you for consideration the next game to join our ecosystem, Betwixt. That picture alone looks just sick. It just, it just looks like you're there. It looks like it's you. The game is sick. So let's take a quick uh, read into this. It's not long. Um, Bet Bender's notes. This vote is important, really important. Alista, ah, forgive me, Dermanzishka reached out to me personally after hearing me on the Zima Red podcast and said that what I had mentioned about using blockchain gaming to create freedom for developers and gamers had resonated with her and that she was struggling to find seed funding for the game she was making. But Twix is all about using gaming to create positive change. And it isn't about making a ton of money for VC investors. She was in a situation where she felt that the game might not be able to be produced because the VCs she was speaking to did not share her vision. Then it goes on to say, as many of you know, Gallic Games is the only major blockchain gaming project that has not taken VC funding at all. Everyone else has raised hundreds of millions of dollars, which makes them beholden to their investors. We have done this without that funding and are quite proud of that fact. That's very that's that, that's something to actually to listen to because that's how they're able to give the games to us in such a way and have us vote on games like Betwixt to be created. Um, the funders aren't going to be like no 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 us the gamers get to decide these things. So when I heard about the predicament Elisa found herself in, and if I say her name wrong, just forgive me, I wanted to do something to help. I thought that the Gala Games Node Network could potential could potential unlock funding for Betwixt, unblocking their development, making a positive impact, and helping advance game-based therapy for future generations. So with this in mind, I present to you Betwixt. It is quite different from most games on the network, but I think it is important that we support it. 
there are not tons of details on how it will all work out, as it is still very much in development. But this is the opportunity of the node network to do something. If you own a node, you get to do something, and they're trying to work in. If you own the tokens and the coins, then you, us, will be able to do something. People that don't own the nodes, but people that play the games and are passionate. Awesome to support a good cause and make a difference, Jason Bitbender Brink had to say. Um, and then it talks a little bit about it. It's a choose your own adventure, play to thrive kind of game. Um, release date, alpha early access, release estimated quarter one of 2022. So that could be in the next couple months, two to three months. And then it goes on to talk a little bit about it. It's, and I, I think we should read it. So welcome to Twix, the first play to thrive game in the metaverse with evolving generative art sculpted sculpted by your choices as you travel through a dreamlike world that responds to your emotions and makes real what you think a mysterious guide known only as the voice helps you find clarity courage and self-insight mental wellness shouldn't be a chore so we made it epic but twix takes some of the most effective tools for self-reflection and weaves them into an immersive experience ins inspired by mist and lord of the rings so kind of like another miranda's game but just just a little bit different turn the voice at your head into a powerful ally co-create the dream world be the hero and author of your own brave new story that just that just sounds cool to me and then it talks a little bit about it talks a little bit about nft drops um node and to token options uh funding and so forth and so on and if you see right here it says potential voting options questions should betwix be funded 1 million us dollars from the gala games 100 million game development fund and be given an opportunity to be included in the gala games ecosystem it says like yes a vote for funding no abstain so to vote open your gala games node software if you own a, a node and click on the voting tab uh voting starts to be determined the, the duration 72 hours and it's a simple vote so what that means is that gala has a game that they're trying to put on the network they're asking the people that believed in the network from the beginning and bought a node everyday people like you and me and um they're basically gonna you know do who like a majority vote and get this game up and i think this game could be cool i would like to play this game um just by reading it it sounds like something that should already exist and i really hope that they vote yes on it um this is gala games guys gala games has done it really big uh if you if you like what you've seen so far check out gala games you could look at coin market cap kind of look at um the way their tokens going and this is this isn't a good representation uh of how gala games is going if you look at the at the one day seven day but if you look at the monthly stuff i mean gala games was at eight cents guys eight cents and it's all the way up at 47 cents and before all the noise and the fud of all the stuff going around worldwide i mean it was staying around 60s 60 high 60s low 60s for a couple of a couple of days there so i mean and it's still up there it's at 47 cents there's nothing to take lightly this is a coin you should definitely do your research into um and there's tons of potential there's tons of buyers as you can see there's tons of volume in here you should definitely kind of do your own research and, and maybe just buy for the long term um let's go to, to a three month just take a look at this real quick you can see it's just steady sideways goes up sideways still it's still not it's still not even down it still hasn't even reached his bottom here it's it's just a good coin in my in my per, uh perspective guys take a look at it um that's everything i want to say about gala right now so we are going to go into the fun facts from the past and add a corny joke fun facts from the past and a corny joke so let's go to the fun facts of the past so it says on december 5th what happened today in history in 771 there's not even a one in front of that just 771 charlemagne became the sole king of the franks after the death of his brother Carlo Man. Carlo Man. Sounds like Bomber Man. <laughs> 1349, 500 Jews. This isn't funny. 500 Jews of the Nuremberg massacre during Black Death riots. Okay. <laughs> Not a good day in times past. 1456, earthquake strikes Nepal's. About 35,000 die. My goodness. 
In 1848, U.S. President James K. Polk triggers gold rush of the 1849 by confirming a gold discovery in California. That's why everybody in California is rich. 1933, prohibition ends in the U.S. when 21st Amendment to the U.S. Constitution ratified, 18th Amendment repealed. Interesting stuff. Um, 1969, four-node ARPANET network is established. I'm sure somebody knows what that is. And then today in film, 2001, Ocean's Eleven, great movie, by the way. Um, take a look, watch it. They have an Ocean's Eleven, 12, and I believe a 13. So start with Ocean's Eleven. Don't go, don't start at 12 or 13. There's a whole kind of, uh, I don't know, there's, there's a direction that it takes per movie. It's directed by Steven Soderbergh, starring George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and Julia Roberts. Premieres in Westwood, California. They made this movie only a couple years after the 1849 gold discovery. So see, that's where the money's at. 1973, Paul McCartney and Wings released the album Band on the Run in the U.S. Man, that was a really good album. Today in sports, 2017, Russia is banned from the, from the next Winter Olympics in South Korea over state-sponsored doping. I don't, I don't even know what that means, but good. Maybe America will win more. So let's go to the funny, corny jokes. It says, what did the Clydesdale give the pony? Why did the Clydesdale give a pony a glass of water? Because he was a little horse. Anybody? Why did the big horse give the little horse a glass of water? He was a little horse. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time for today's devotional. Today's devotional. What is this? I do not want to reply to this. Sorry, guys. Today's devotional is... All right. So I'm on the NIV 365 Day Devotional, Sunday, December 5th, uh, 2021. You can go to BibleGateway.com and start your own today. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I think it's something fun to do, especially in these weird times to talk about Jesus and his word. So let's dive right in. Meditation, Romans 8, 38 through 39. The angels rejoiced at the beginning of time, revealing in God's awesome creation, perhaps the most beautiful thing they had ever seen. How sad it must have been later for the two of them who were chosen to guard the Guard the garden gate against a re-entry by those two people whose sins were all now born and we are all now born into. But the angels, because they live in his presence, know the character of God. And so they waited. They longed to look into the mysterious promises that the prophets were bringing, the coming grace of God, but they were mostly silent. They longed for the day of our redemption. The angels longed for our redemption. Yet they were mostly invisible. They sometimes appeared one, two at a time through the Old Testament when God sent them as messengers or sometimes as heavenly hosts in great spiritual bat battles. But mostly they waited eagerly, it says. So when one of them was sent to tell the shepherds that the news of God's grace had reached them too, that a baby had been born, the Messiah, who would bring great joy to all people, the angels could remain quiet no longer. All heaven broke loose. <laughs> All heaven broke loose. And for a moment in that field, the supernatural broke through the barrier of our natural world in a glorious celebration for our salvation, of our salvation. Before we knew that God was coming for us, the angels knew, and they interrupted our earthly monotony, monotony, oh my goodness, monotony with song. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2, 14. What was so wonderful to the angels that they could not restrain their adoration should be a wonder to us too. This Christmas, let us remember that the miracle of our salvation is truly that, a great and glorious miracle, one that sent angels and glorious raptures into glorious raptures of praise. And let us pray that our God will interrupt our lives with the joy of this message, just as, just as he did for the shepherds in the field. Yeah. 
So the prayer is, Lord God, you are the sovereign, majestic, and transcendent ruler of all things, both visible and invisible, past and present, omnibeing. The angelic hosts of heaven serve you continually to accomplish your perfect will. Break into our lives, interrupt our routines, open our blinded eyes, and stir our calloused hearts to reveal how amazing your plan truly is. I recognize that in this life, I see so little and know only part. Yet, the time is coming when I will see you face to face. The joy of my salvation is my strength. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Amen, guys. So that was today's devotional. Tomorrow, or maybe not tomorrow, just just depending when I could get this next video out, we will have another one. And um, I hope you guys appreciated that. I do want to jump into um, I do want to jump into some of the work that we've been doing over on our Discord, and invite you guys to come on over there and hang out. I will have a link in our description below. And basically what we got going on right now, we've successfully completed the drawing aspect of our NFTs and have moved them over from pen and paper to computer to email onto the coding platform of being able to run them through the Solana blockchain, um, which will in return bring low fees compared to Ethereum. And Solana is actually coming out with their own metaverse uh, it will be called Solace. So if you want to take a look into that and kind of be having your eyes peeled for that, that would be cool. But let's take a look at our, at our um, Divine Canine real quick. So we have our Instagram page, our Twitter page, our YouTube page, and uh, if you're watching on Twitch, our Twitch. And everybody gets a, a fun little welcome. And we have our roadmap. Guys, we're, we're still, like I said, we're going to put, put it on the Soul Sea, which is a marketplace uh, for mass adoption of our canines. Um, we also have our t-shirts available. We want to buy lots on Solus, the Central Land Sandbox. And at the end of the day, for every NFT that we buy, we will be sending a Bible to bi f through Bible League um, organization. And um, just so we could share the word of salvation like we just did a second ago with other people across the world who aren't as for fortunate as we are in America and some other places. Um, but I do want to give a huge shout out to, let's take a look here. <laughs> uh, this little baby, I mean, this other baby, <laughs> my wife and the beautiful Mrs. Cassidy or Lazy Daisy on Discord, and then our daughter, Amelia, she has put in the fine-tuned work for our divine canine nfts um i.e example right here so i do want to give a shout out to her um and then here's an, another fun photo of us on our wedding day a couple days ago so look how snazzy this man looks yes sir so just wanted to give her a quick shout out um i do want to invite you guys over to divine canine and then i also want to talk quickly about um some of the clothing and book bag uh, options that we've created in the last couple of days um, we have the premium pullover hoodie right now it has the divine canine on it, it has John 316 uh, it has the Solana with the phantom wallet and it has a Jesus cross and it comes in a couple of different colors here the blue the red the grays um, all the way up to 2xl to size smalls um, if you have a girl you can get a small size if you have a big guy at the house you go all the way up to 2xl so I think that's pretty cool and it and um, a lot of these proceeds will help um, the future funding while also you're repping what you believe in. So that's the pullover hoodie. Um, we got the team jersey right now, the premium team jersey, the exclusive. Same thing. We got the cross in the middle. We got the Divine Canine logo. Um, we got the Solana wallet with the with the uh, Phantom or the Solana blockchain with the Phantom wallet going on there, and then we also have John 3:16 and the Romans 8:28 Bible verses at the bottom, um, and those come in some pretty cool colors, and uh, I'm super excited about this. I have I have one coming to the house here, so you can get that all the way up to 3XL, and you get it all the way in, in extra small. So check that out and then we have the book bag and the nft swag um the nft swag uh what is it called what kind of hat is that 
bucket hat. There we are. So this is the, the backpack. As you see, it's all tatted up, all sticker slapped with a bunch of different Solana and, and uh, Phantom Wallet. And then the crosses on there, trying to keep Jesus and everything. Um, and you can get that in a couple different colors, a couple different um, from white all the way to the pink, the girly looking ones. Um, but even the girly looking ones, man, they, they really make, make some of the logos pop. Um, so come check this out. I'll post it in the link below. And um, that's where we're at, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to learn more about the Gala Games and um, want to learn more about Bible stuff, join us on the Discord. And then we will be coming out with the website soon so that you guys could go ahead and mint your Divine K9 NFTs. And every NFT has in the metadata, in their DNA, a, a Bible verse that's different from all the other NFTs that we have. So that's something to look out for. Um, and we're giving a Bible way for every NFT sold. So we're really we're really doing God's work here, guys. And, you know, this is just the beginning of what we can do. So we're glad you're here. Um, come hang out with us some more. Come subscribe, comment, like, do do all those things. And check us out on Discord to find out kind of um, every day. That's where we're most active, everyday stuff that happens. So we look forward to seeing you guys and uh, have a good week.